United Airlines runs one of the world's largest computer systems, the Apollo Reservation Systems, with 8,000 users, some 38,000 terminals. The good news for IBM is that United was the first corporate buyer of the personal system to computers, with an order for 40,000 Model 50s. The Model 50s will replace existing terminals on United's massive computer network. The Apollo Reservation System runs off eight IBM mainframes using 460,000 miles of communication circuits. The system can handle 1,500 transactions a second. Despite the fact that many of the existing terminals on the system are PCs or ATs, they are essentially dumb terminals with all applications coming from the centralized system. One reason United decided to go with PS2 computers was its desire to get into a more distributed architecture. As we move forward in a distributed architecture, we're looking to provide our users with the ability to develop and support their own level of applications over time and not depend on us as a single source for all of their future enhancements. United chose the Model 50 computers after concluding that they offered the best price-performance combination in the new PS2 line. The Model 50s will become an integral part of United's new focal point reservation system, which brings new enhancements to the Apollo network. Among the improvements are a menu-driven system which replaces cryptic codes with natural language commands. The net result is an up to 80% reduction in the number of keystrokes required to use the system. United is also and using the Microsoft Windows the environment Very so that reservations agents can now no look at several aspects of a client's record at the same time, saving time and allowing for better service. Another benefit of the distributed architecture is locally controlled utilities such as calendar, calculator, online Rolodex and even a word processor. Despite the use of PS2 personal computers on the United Reservation System, United will not be making Focal Point available to PC users via an online service. If you saw the movie War Games and saw a kid sitting on a PC at home and booking a round-the-world trip with no risk transference, he didn't buy anything, he just booked it. He's tying up live inventory. And from our perspective, from the airline perspective, that inventory is sacrosanct. Once you sell it, you can't get it back. And unless somebody physically gives you a credit card number or pays you for it, you have nothing. United's decision to buy 40,000 IBM Model 50s is a major commitment to the personal system, too, and the IBM standard. But Barry Kotar says the machines justify their confidence. To say that we're very impressed would be an understatement. It's communications connectivity, it's networking capabilities are unsurpassed. Uh, long term, the overall costs of maintenance and ongoing support of those devices, we believe, will more than pay for themselves. So uh, we believe that IBM has, has developed a machine that will set the standard for the next five years that the others will have to play against.